Perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers. Today we're going to talk about some Bama recruiting. The 2023 class is starting to shape up, and it is looking not too bad. They were ranked, like, right around here, like, 8th, ninth, something like that. And then they had a guy decommit. Uh, before that, they were ranked, like, 38th. And they just had this huge wave of guys start to commit all at the same time. But Bama is also struggling in ways. I mean, and it is weird to see. And I know there's plenty of time left, and there's plenty of guys that, that are going to commit to Bama. And on top of it, even if this recruiting class is not that good, if you're a Bama fan, what do you know? You know that the transfer portal is going to heavily favor you. I mean, it is. If Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, any one of you guys end up saying, hey, we have an open spot at left tackle or out, outside linebacker, there's going to be guys hitting the transfer portal like crazy. But with Georgia or with Alabama, they actually decreased – uh, their rating because they had a guy decommit, uh, Elliot Washington, decommitted and then committed to Penn State. So it was a big shot for for uh, for Alabama. It really was. But Alabama, they did lose a quarterback to that was a five star quarterback to Clemson. They have lost guys to. I mean, it's it's just a battle. It's really tough for them. They ended up getting two of the top three corners. So if we look at the corners here. They got two of the top three. I mean, and they're, they're, they're doing great with that. So that's huge, and, and Alabama needs to do more and more and more and more with defense because offenses are just getting more and more crazy. So they need to keep that defensive presence. That's one thing Alabama is known for is that scary defense. Georgia's becoming more known for it now, but for a long time, it was Alabama's defense that was taking the, the lead over Georgia and basically anyone else. They did get a quarterback here, uh, Eli Holston, some big linemen. Um, so, and they're looking at bringing on some other linemen as well. Uh, the biggest problem that Alabama has right now, too, would be, I mean, their wide receivers are, it's they're having a little bit more trouble in the wide receiver category than you would hope if you were a Bama fan. You'd want them to just kind of, you know, get these guys down. They ended up getting a really good linebacker, number one in his position, uh, Justin Jefferson. So, you know, that's huge. They ended up getting Cole Adams. They ended up picking up uh, two three-star guys. This guy actually decommitted from Georgia. So that's huge. Big fella. 6'3", 340. Okay, he is, he is a big boy. And then you got Brayson, uh, Brayson Hubbard athletic guy who uh is going there and i honestly think that if we look at brace and hubbard you know who who else was on the list of trying to pick him up so you kind of try to get a gauge on is there other big schools coming after him because then you could kind of see that maybe this guy's not a three-star this doesn't really seal the deal for me you know i still think bama is seeing something in him but at the same point in time, the only competitive team you really have here is Mississippi State. Now, that could also be that he said, well, I only want to play for, you know, these schools. But, you know, he's not getting an offer from Michigan, any of the Big Ten schools. The only other SEC school is Mississippi State. So that there is a bit of concern there, but they could be looking at him like he's a production player and that we're going to, you know, build him up. So let's talk about some of the prospects of some of the guys that they can get. Now, um, Cormani McLean out of Florida is looking to go to Florida. And he's the number one quarterback in the class. So Alabama really needs to to get aggressive and try to bring this kid in because uh, you don't want to lose him to Florida. This is a guy, if you bring him in, then you basically have the top three. Even if your recruiting class doesn't pan out to be as good as it has in previous years, if you land the top three corners in the class, woo, that's a big statement, especially with Ohio State bringing on the top wide receivers in the class you want to establish yourself as cornerback you and that's a great way to do it so Alabama really needs to do this whether they can or, or can't is you know still to be seen we'll see what they can do and we'll keep you guys posted but there's no commitment date to this guy's specified it between he's throwing in Florida schools to Florida schools so he obviously likes um, to be somewhere close to home and then he's throwing in Alabama as well but yeah we'll see what pans out with uh, McLean here great cornerback another guy here David Hicks looks like he's going to Texas A&M Texas A&M really needs him super bad guy out of Texas uh, really needs him because they are 60th in recruiting right now as we speak in the future that'll probably change if they bring this guy on it'll definitely change uh, this guy's the number one d lineman but you got oregon 
who's coming to play. Oregon is not messing around this year. Michigan State also not messing around this year. They are headhunting. And so you got Texas A&M, Texas, Oklahoma, Alabama, Oregon, Michigan State, Miami. Now one small school. Not a single school that's like, oh, this school's school that you don't have to worry about. No, all these schools you have to worry about. You got Texas money coming in. You got Oregon, who's got Phil Knight. You got Michigan State, who is like, we're going to take over now and be better than Michigan. You got Miami, who's bringing in some good guys, had some dudes decommit from uh, Clemson and go join their squad. Two guys decommit from Clemson and then go join their squad. You know, chances are he would probably go to Texas A&M, but Alabama still needs to land some of these big ones and pull these guys away. And then we have Caleb Downs, and I can't stress the important on Caleb Downs here for all of these schools. For Georgia, you don't want to lose your number one guy in your state to Ohio State, which there's a lot of buzz going on that Ohio State could land George, uh, Caleb Downs. A lot of buzz. But you got some big, big ballers in this. Notre Dame with the number one recruiting class wanting to pick him up. You got Georgia who is like desperate right now not to lose their number one guy because they don't want to lose it to Ohio State. They don't want to lose it to Bama. They don't want to lose it to anybody. But you, Ohio State got plundered by Georgia last year. They lost their five-star cornerback to Georgia. He actually decommitted from Ohio State and then committed to Georgia. And the last thing you want is Ohio State to come back and then go, hey, by the way, uh, yeah, you stole our guy last year, but eh, we just took the number one guy in your state. Oof. You don't want that. Uh, so Georgia's going to get real aggressive, and uh, Alabama needs to also really focus on pulling them in because the big thing here, you already have two of the top three cornerbacks in the league or at their position. And then you need to get the number one safety on top of that. And then you don't have to worry about Ohio State bringing on the five-star quarterbacks that they're bringing on. They got Dylan Riola coming in next year, who's uh, the number one in the nation. The guy is insane. I don't know if you guys have seen his highlights, but Dylan Riola is crazy. And then the wide receivers they're bringing on, Ohio State has two of the top three. They have three in the top nine. They have four in the top 30. Ohio State's fourth best receiver is higher ranked than Alabama's first top receiver, so that's something to, to take into consideration. But yeah, I mean, uh, Alabama really needs to jump on this and really needs to try and do that because this will not only be a huge victory for them, this will be a moral morale boost uh, to the nth degree to say we just ripped a guy from Georgia, the number one guy, especially after losing to Georgia uh, in the championship last year as well. So uh, this is a big move, and we will be monitoring what's happening with Caleb Downs because he is a very, he he is a guy that is so important to all these schools, it's insane. And for Bama, you know, I don't want to freak fans out of Bama because, honestly, I don't even care if Alabama gets a bad recruiting class. I think the transfer portal is going to be, I mean, really lucrative for Alabama. I mean, I just do. I think a guy that they will get is Richard Young, and this is a big victory here because you're pulling him away from Ohio State. Ohio State had the ability to get Richard Young, or at least, I mean, maybe not had the ability, because if they had the ability, they probably would have done it. But at the same point in time, Richard Young had two visits to Ohio State, two. And that doesn't typically happen. If they have multiple visits to Ohio State, like official visits, and then they don't get them, that's rare. I mean, it just is. It's, it's rare. So they're looking at losing him. So they got the edge guy here. They're in competition with uh, Mateo. And he's looking to go to Ohio State. So that's not good. They also lost a defense alignment to Clemson. He chose Clemson over Bama. That's a tough one. Now, one of the other ways that they could come back and really, you know, jump into this is Samson. Samson could really help out. Ohio State's in the mix here. I believe Georgia, too. I mean, there's a lot of schools that are banking on Samson here. Ohio State has the fourth best uh, position. At, at offensive tackle, they would love to get the third best. And Florida or uh, Alabama here, as you can see from their commits, they would love to get another guy because they got the 10th best right now and they have the 25th best in the interior. So linemen, they're actually worse off than Ohio State on linemen right now, which also don't take it you know, too heavily and say, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble. No, the transfer portal. Remember the transfer portal. Okay, remember that. If if you guys are Bama fans, definitely remember that. But Samson is huge key player in this. Richard Young, I think you guys will bring him on. There are competitions with Richard Young. They're projecting he's going to go to Bama. But Georgia wants in on that. Oregon wants in on that. 
So Georgia and Alabama are going toe to toe to try to bring on Richard Young. I think he'll go to Bama. If I were to just guess, I would guess that he would go to Bama, and that's a huge pickup for you guys because this guy is really good, and I mean he he is he is really really talented, and uh, you know he had a lot of guys hit hit him up to try and bring him onto their squad. Ohio State running back Travion Henderson was tweeting at him things like that. Um, trying to bring them on. They were talking and, and what have you, and it still didn't work. So Alabama's in a good spot for him, and I think that that would be a huge pick-me-up for Alabama. Another guy here, too, that is a huge, huge deal for Bama, and you got to bring him in because this is your home state guy here. You can't be l allowing Georgia to come in and pick him off. Georgia's already been getting picked off by Clemson, and, and even Ohio State's taking a little part of that. Ohio State pulled their cornerback from him already, four-star corner. Georgia ain't playing around. They're pissed off. And Alabama to, to have to struggle in your own home field advantage? Ugh. Georgia, this is, or Bama, you got to land this. Because if Georgia lands this, this is a massive deal for Georgia and a huge hit on Bama. And what's crazy is even though other schools are picking off Georgia and Alabama in certain ways, freaking Bama and Georgia are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe picking each other off even further. It, it's insane. I mean, it, it really is insane what we're watching here. I expected Georgia and Bama to have huge recruiting classes this year and be like one and two. That's really what I expected. And then seeing what we're seeing, I'm kind of going, okay, uh, you guys need to kind of jump on these other areas and really bring these guys in to solidify your base because this is a guy, if you lose, I mean, he's the sixth best player in Alabama and you're losing him, Ugh. especially to Georgia. Uh, you don't want that. So another guy for Bama is Malik Muhammad. Doesn't look like they're going to get him right now. Could change. Uh, there is that. Texas A&M is very desperate right now. They are ranked 60th, and I don't care what anyone says. You're desperate when you're ranked 60th, especially when you were the first recruiting class of last year. You were the top recruiting class of last year. Alabama's a little bit desperate right now. They want to bring a guy on. Uh, Texas is really not as desperate as the other two schools. They're not. It's kind of weird to say that, that Texas is not as desperate as Texas A&M and Bama at this moment. But uh, they are ranked fourth in recruiting. So Bama would love to bring this guy on. Can they change the tide here? I don't know, but it's something to keep an eye on. Another guy to watch out for would be Malik Bryant here. And he's from Florida, Orlando, Florida. You got Miami, you got Florida in the mix. You got USC and you got Alabama. So be a huge pickup for them. Very big pickup uh, to get a linebacker. This guy is the 14th best in Florida best player. However, he's the third best linebacker in his class. So huge. Florida produces tons and tons of talented players. I like Texas, I like California, you know, big state like that producing tons and tons of talent. Uh, but the thing is, is this is a good fight here that, um, you know, July 23rd is when they're looking at the commitment watch. So watch out for that. We'll keep you guys updated of what's going on there. But it would be a big, big poll for them to be able to bring him in. Another big running back here too that a lot of big dogs are coming in. Georgia's looking to be able to possibly bring him on. If Georgia doesn't get Richard Young, they would love to be able to bring him on. Ohio State needs another running back. They do have one four-star already who is really, really good out of Florida. Um, however, they would like to bring him on. Tony Alford uh, would love that. So Ohio State uh, is going to be trying to go after him. Bama would love to pick him up because the other thing, too, is that they get, get him as well as Richard Young. I mean, you just snubbed Georgia and Ohio State. Okay, and USC trying to get involved as much as they can, too. They're a scary team. They're scary right now because, um, you know, they already made a huge statement previously that we'll offer Pitt's wide receiver a crap load of money to come join our squad. I mean, they're not playing around. So this is, this is going to be a tough one. If they could pry him from Georgia, it would be a huge victory for Alabama. So for the remaining guys, Kelby Collins is a big, big recruit that they want to bring in, and they're in the mix there. Uh, Walker Lyons right now is projected to go to BYU, so that's that's not very fortunate for them. Uh, Vickers is projected to go to Oklahoma, so there's that. Now, they do have an upper hand right now out of Georgia with Dylan uh, Lonergan. I'm uh, hoping I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, argue in the comments. Uh, but anyways, he is looking to go to Bama. Uh, that would be a good pickup for them. Ninth best quarterback right now. Is he the guy that they're banking on that they're like, this guy's going to be the next great thing? No, because Bama's usually going after five stars when they do. They get pretty aggressive. Uh, but 
bringing on Dylan, that could be a good move for them as well. And they've also won a ton of championships with with decent quarterbacks, not great ones. Uh, Rawl here, they're in between Ohio State. I mean, the big boys are coming in and playing. You got one Ohio State and the rest SEC. So yeah, this he's torn. And if they could pull him out of Georgia again, Georgia is just poor Georgia. As much, I, it's just so hard. They get so much talent there too, and these guys are like to keep them all in is just so tough, so tough. So we'll see what happens with uh, Rawl as well. You know, they have a possibility there. So for the remaining guys here that they're looking at, we already saw uh, USC here. This guy is looking to go to Texas. Uh, right here, you're looking at LSU. Um, not really a shock there. Also, this guy's looking at Texas A&M and Miami, and, and wide receivers are something that they got to go after. They really have to go after wide receivers. And then you got Wilson here. There's a potential there. It's between the three big dogs, Ohio State, Georgia, and Bama. So for Jalen Hale, they're looking at he's looking at either Texas, Georgia, or Bama. I'll uh, be a huge pickup for them. Huge, huge pickup. Uh, looking at Texas A&M for Dalton Brooks. Uh, so there is that. And this guy here has a laundry list of dudes coming after him uh, to try and bring him onto their team because he is really good. So if they could, they still are in the mix for, for love, and uh, they could end up bringing him on. Now what about the other athletic guy over here? You're looking at Alabama and Michigan, and then you got Oklahoma. But you got a good sign with Michigan there that either Michigan's desperate, they're going to try to bring him on, but Michigan's not doing well in the recruiting trail. And then Oklahoma's obviously the favor right here. So can you rip him away is the true question. So if you're an Alabama fan, just know that, hey, you had a good run. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, it is a little bit intense right now for Bama. I mean, there's so many questions that are going on. I mean, they could easily, though, bring in Caleb Downs. They could uh, bring in Sampson. They could bring in the other offensive tackle, which they're favored for. They got the quarterback coming as well. They could change this around really quickly. But if they don't get some of those big key guys that they need to get, then, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to you know, worry about the transfer portal at that moment. You're going to have to rely on the transfer portal more than you ever have before. And usually, like, teams like Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia – you know, even Penn State to a degree, they usually get guys to transfer out because they have so much talent. And to have it the opposite way around where they're like, hey, we need you to come in is a little bit worrisome in, in that regard. But still, if you think about it, you're favored in the transfer portal, right? I mean, that's what you think. You think Alabama's traded in the transfer portal. But the more and more I think about it, too, the more and more I question, too, is it going to be an NIL nightmare? I mean, you already saw what happened to that pit wide receiver where USC plucked them out and said, we're going to pay you just unholy money. I mean, that money's unholy. At that point in time, if I'm that kid, I'm just like, hey, whatever, dude. I'm going to do this for two years. They're going to like, hey, you want to go? You're projected to get drafted first. I'm going to say, no. I'm going to play again here where I'm really good. It's easier than it is in the NFL. And then uh, I'm going to open up a pizza shop and I'm going to retire. I'm it. I'm going to buy five of them because I can. And then what, then, then what you just say, Hey, you're 22 years old and you retired. Hell yeah. That's what I'm doing. Hey, if I'm that kid, that's my recommendation to you. Anyways, I'm rambling at this moment in time. Uh, but Alabama, you got to do better than Northwestern. I mean, come on now, Texas tech is taking it to you and, and Cincinnati this is unacceptable. And of course I'm just giving them crap because Alabama could easily turn the switch. And then all these guys are like, crap, that could be real quick. So it'll be uh, interesting to stay tuned to all what's going on here. We'll let you guys know. Let us know what you guys think down below. If you're Bama fans, what, what's going on in your guys' mind? What do you think's happening here? I'm sure you guys are still a little bit confident, but I have to ask, too, is it is this one of the first times you're actually nervous? Because I'm a little nervous for him, and I'm not even a Bama fan. I'm in a her song. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine.